guys. Um, I just wanted to record a quick video about what's going on this week. Thank you all for uh, submitting your IWA uh, introduction drafts. Um, this week I am going to start with posting some questions for you to respond to. Um, and the questions are all the same, but it is basically three different students drafts, introduction drafts that you need to respond to. And I have some detailed uh, instructions below the question. The question and instructions are all the same, but uh, you just need to read the copy of the introduction. Don't edit it. I don't think that you can edit it. I'm pretty sure I've successfully turned all that off, but you are going to comment on how well each introduction meets the first two criteria on the rubric. And the big thing I want you to keep in mind is that for each of the two first two criteria of the rubric, the introductions or well the paper in general uh, scores either a five or a zero and there's nothing in between. So you do not need to score it. Don't you don't have to say this is a five, this is a zero, but you need to offer feedback about how to make sure that the first two criteria are met in the introduction. Um, the paper could still score a five on either of those areas and not necessarily do that in the introduction, meet those criteria in the actual introduction, but I would advise you to make sure that yours does go ahead and meet the criteria for those first two rows in the introduction. So thanks for giving those three students feedback. Uh, let me know if I accidentally assigned you more than three to read, but I, I think that I worked it out. Uh, once there's feedback on yours, I will share that with you. Um, this afternoon, I'm gonna be posting the second deadline assignment um, for word count. From here on out, it gets a little more uh, individualized. In other words, the next several words or several hundred words of your personal IWA might meet different criteria in the rubric. There is one criteria of the rubric that I think we can all meet on the second word deadline, which is that um, it, you are presenting some sort of claim. In fact, your introduction really should do that, but it should be pretty clear by the second word count deadline that you have a researchable question or thesis, and we'll comment on that as well. Um, and you can comment on that on this first deadline, even on this first, like the question I assigned you this week, even though I didn't specifically ask for that. Uh, so that's what to look for this week. Three students, you're giving them feedback and then your your second word count deadline. Um, I will also be posting things, updates from the AP as they become available and information about exams and things like that. But do keep in mind that our exam was canceled and that the, uh, the IRR, which you've already written, and the IWA together are your entire AP score. Um, so I probably won't be holding specific online office hours uh, this week, but probably at the beginning of next week, uh, I might schedule something like that. Um, thanks for those of you who came last time. Um, I think that's all I have for now. So happy reading and writing, and I hope y'all have a good week.